In AutoCAD architecture, we use projects to help organize our drawing files. Three of the benefits to projects are that they help manage our drawing folder structure, they help with externally referencing or xrefing files, and they help manage the placement of plot views on plot sheets, coordinating the view callouts so if a sheet number changes, the view tags will automatically update. It all starts with creating projects. So let's review this. You may create a project before creating any drawings, or you may create your drawings, then organize them into your project. To create a new project, we begin by picking the Project Browser button on the Quick Access Toolbar, which opens the Project Browser dialog box. There are six tools on the top left. The first three tools allow you to change folder location or create a new folder. The fourth tool opens the Project Files dialog box to help you find your Project APJ file. The fifth tool, Project Folder, lists APJ files in the current folder. The last tool is History. History lists the most recently used projects in the area on the middle left. I'll close my project, and now at the top left, I can see that there is no current project active. There is no image in the upper left and no text on the right. At the bottom, we have two additional tools, New Project and Refresh Project Browser. I'll select New Project, which opens the Add Project dialog box. In the Project Number Text area, I'll name this 2014-P1 for my first project in the year 2014. In the Project Name Text area, I'll type in My New Project. At the bottom is a Project Description Text area. At the bottom left is an option to Create from Template Project. To customize this, Begin by creating a project with Project Browser. Then in Project Navigator, set up your Construct, Element, and View folders, subdivided the way you want. Create your sheet subsets for plotting, then save this as a project. I'll select the checkbox to use the Commercial Template Project Imperial, then click OK. The new project is created. I'll then select My New Project and right-click it. In the pop-up menu, I'll select Project Properties, which opens the Project Properties dialog box. There are two major groups, Basic and Advanced, with subgroups in each. Under Basic, the general group is where the name, number, description, and detailed information that you entered in the Add Project dialog box is listed. In the Drawing Settings group, I'll set Use Relative XREF Paths to No, Match Sheet View Layers to Views, will change the layer settings in your sheet files to match those in the view files, overriding the sheet file visretain variable. I'll select No for this option as well. For prefix file names with project number, I'll choose Yes. As I create drawings, my project number 2014-P1 will be prefixed to the file name, creating unique names from other projects. Expand Templates and you may choose to use Common Model View File Templates. The Common Model View and Sheet Templates were set up in the initial project template. You may change these by selecting them and choosing a different template file. As you create sheet files, the layout specified in Sheet Template will be used. Select this to change to a different one. Under Advanced, Project Standards may be enabled or disabled. Setting up project standards files allows you to synchronize all of your drawings across your project. The bulletin board and project image are displayed in the main project browser dialog box. Folders allows you to override the normal Project Navigator folder structure. With redirect project folders set to No, by default, new folders are created automatically under the main project folder. To change this, click this variable and change it to Yes. You now have access to the folder paths for elements, constructs, views, and sheets. I'll reselect No. There is a Project Keynotes database variable to use different databases from the one specified in the Options dialog box. Setting Display Non-Project Keynote Databases to Yes gives you access to these default databases. The Detail Components group is similar in concept to the Keynotes group. You may also create a unique tool palette group for your project.
This may be from a shared location or unique to each user's computer. As you switch from project to project, the tool palettes are customized. For example, they may contain just the wall, door, window, and other styles unique to that particular project. The file check-in options has settings for maximum backups, comments, and user profile type. When working in a project, it is essential for multiple users to access and modify files. When checking out, then checking in a file, a new version of the file is automatically created and saved, containing all the changes to the file. You may specify how many backup copies to maintain. Comments may be added to each version when the Comments option is set to Yes. The user profile type may be either Local Profile or Username Only. After setting these variables, click OK and the new project is active. When I click the Project Browser Close button, Project Navigator automatically opens with all of the project settings. Based on the project template, on the Project tab, levels have been established. On the Constructs, Views, and Sheets tab, folders and subsets have also been created. 